Hello, my name is Neil I with Skyway Software. In this video, I'm going to show you a capability in Skyway Builder to DWR enable your Spring services. If you're an Ajax developer, you are likely going to be interested in this feature because what DWR enables you to do is to basically take your server-side logic and have it be accessible via a JavaScript and JSON-based API. And what Skyway Builder does is that it will automatically bootstrap your project and configure your project to take your spring services and make them available using the DWR based Ajax API. Now what I'm going to use is uh, for this demonstration is I'm actually going to use a project that I scaffolded in a previous video and all I need to do to enable DWR is to basically open up the service and in this case this was a service that was scaffolded for me I'm gonna go ahead and double click on the service and I'll switch over to the DWR tab and I will see my service as well as all of its operations and then what I can do is I can actually switch over to here check off this publish button and all of my operations that are within the service when I redeploy my application will be accessible via DWR so I'm going to go ahead and hit save here, close this, and restart my server. So now I'm going to switch over to a browser, and this was my original scaffolded application. And uh, if you recall, I can actually use it for CRUD-based operations on a domain model that I specified. Um, and in this case, I only have one record. It's a for track. I, it, this particular application tracks customers and purchase orders, and and at this point in time, I only have one record in the database. Um, but now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and use a DWR rendered page that's going to allow me to access that ba those that same backend service but rather than doing it you know via a web-based interface I'm actually going to access it via JavaScript and so the page that's rendered here basically is a page that's provided by DWR that says here are the JavaScript includes that I need to go ahead and put into my HTML page and this basically represents the JavaScript API that I can use from within my Ajax applications to actually automatically access those backend services. Skyway's done all of the bootstrapping and configuration to make this possible. And one of the other cool things about this page is that it also gives me a way of actually testing my uh, my methods, my JavaScript methods, without actually having to build my front-end application yet. So in this case, what I would expect is for the load customers service I would expect to get back a set of customers that I have in my database which as I pointed out was only a single record at this point in time but I would expect to get a list of customers in JSON format so if everything works correctly I'll go ahead and click on this execute button and we'll see a little pop-up window that shows me the data that I had in my database which corresponds to the data that we saw in the uh, spring MVC application